Hello, welcome to TFYLP Microcasters. I'm Lucas. I'm joined tonight by Christian. What up? And Anna. Hey. Uh, High energy, so, Anna, today. I like it. Yeah, there you go. That's right. I like camera got disconnected for a second. That's rude of it. All right. Yeah, it's not helpful. Although, who needs to see Lucas? No, not not my like webcam. My the the one that's on the figure. Oh, you're right. Okay, we do need to see Jackpot. I mean, you don't have to see Jackpot, but you know, hey, whatever. People would like to. People are curious. They want to know: Is this toy something they should obtain? I, I'm not sure that they really are thinking that. Maybe. I, I feel like everyone that has gotten it has been complaining about it. So, you know, we, we'll we throw in our two cents like a month later, apparently. So That's what yes. we do around here. Right. We, we got to make sure. I don't know if the figure is no longer in stock. It is available. It, it is, is available. available. Okay. Well, that tells make you sure. how much excitement there is about it. It's yes. actually available. Hey, sometimes places can keep things in stock. I mean, the place I saw it in stock was Amazon. So, wow. that's one place to go to get it. There you go. So, yeah. let's talk about it. So, what we have here is, th is this officially branded as a Just Generations toy? Is it Does it have a Kingdom label, a Legacy label? Do you want to remember? I think it's Kingdom Golden Disc. King, right, Kingdom Golden, Golden Disc, Disc Collection. Because it's a repaint of a Studio Series figure, so it's like all over the place, right? Right. Yeah. So okay. I always like to start in alt mode, which is why I always bring my toys in alt mode, um, which is why we have a jackpot car. And the first question I want to ask you guys is, is car mode like as accurate as a lot of the other cars are? Because I'm not a car person, so I don't know what Jazz is original car mode was exactly supposed to look like a portion I mean, of accurate to turbo. jazz i don't know that yeah, it's accurate, accurate to, jazz. to jackpot oh i mean obviously it's not accurate to jackpot he didn't have a faith mode but what i'm asking is is this a realistic car i don't think yeah, it it's is like all, reasonable, right? Porsche, it's a yeah. reasonable okay. facsimile of the porsche car Okay. I okay. I feel like it's about as close as you can get without licensing it from Porsche. Ah, okay. Yes. Gotcha. Right, I forgot they're not licensing most of these, so. But the thing I think is funny about, and did we not do jazz? I I forget like what we've done and haven't done. I don't think we did. I have no idea. I didn't so, get jazz till late. Uh huh. I feel like that the jazz in general is very reminiscent of the make toys design. Like it would be like if you took the make toys figure and you, you know, like made it into a mainline figure. That's pretty much what it is. Made the legs not a pain in the ass. Yeah. 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 They just flip like this. But I mean, part of the thing too with this is, is the fact that, you know, there's going to be a little bit of hollowness in the back of the legs. You know, the arms are going to have some hollowness on the inside and whatever, just because it's a, a mainline figure. But um, I don't know. I mean, otherwise, I, I like that mold. And then the other thing, too, is is I know Jazz, um, people at the beginning were complaining about the translucent top and it breaking. I haven't had any issues of mine, but I mean, who knows? You know. One I opened last week to make shutter glass Jazz was unnecessarily tight so i just didn't transform that part for robot mode hmm. just in case so he's a black and yellow car it looks good it has does it feel like it has enough paint on it to you guys i think it's all right yeah ends up with an Fun orange fact, butt this is not the first jackpot to be repainted from a jazz Ooh, jazz pot oh really what's the other one animated animated ah there you go because i really wanted it i remember seeing it when it came out and it's some sort of special thing it's and back then really... i didn't get special things so actually I, I i actually think i have a jackpot and um fun fact i think i actually bought it from don um who was selling it on behalf of jd like, I don't know if you remember, like, after he passed, there was a, um, yeah, I think they were selling some of his 
uh, collection and whatnot uh, to to give money to his widow and um, and yeah. So I this was years ago um, when this happened. Before I don't I don't even remember. Yeah, I, I I can't remember if I talked to Don about it on a show or what I did. But anyway, nevertheless, um, yeah. See, th there you go. I I forgot that I even had it. There you go. That that doesn't so much surprise me with you, Lucas. You should sell it to Anna because she will love it. I will and like it will way more that. than this. Yeah, because they they didn't really do any head resculpting, right? He's got a new head. Is it a new head? Okay. Yeah, I'm sure I'd love it. I don't yeah, know, but then you'll head. think that the head's too small, and you know. no, it's perfect. I mean, just like the, everything animated. The animated jazz is perfect, so. Yeah. I have had him. He's very good. I've I've derailed us. You have. This, you have. This one is also a repaint of a jazz, and is also very good, but in a different kind of way. So the car mode is is adequate. It's exactly like jazz's car mode. There's no changes, no differences. It's good. It's yeah. painted well enough. It looks cute for some reason because it's all kind of smushy. Yeah, the silver paint on the front bumper is really nice. I, I really appreciate that. And they painted headlights over it, which is very cool. And then the yellow striping, I think, is good. I could have used one more, like, on the the bottom of the windows on the doors. One more stripe there, where it's just a black panel for the door. I could use one more. Maybe over the roof, yeah. too. I think it's okay. Or maybe something on the, the ends of the spoiler, the sides of the spoiler. Something. One piece of yellow. And then I was going to talk about this in bot mode, but you can see it really well in vehicle mode too. The Autobot symbol feels like it needed another pass. Yeah, it's very it's, dim. It's very dull. I thought it was, I almost thought it was a Shattered Glass Autobot symbol. Not that this is a Shattered Glass character, but like that they would have made a mistake. Because yeah. it's, it's not saturated enough at all. No. Yeah, it is kind of weird. Yeah, you're right. If I look at it under the right or wrong light, purple is definitely a color I could derive from that. It honestly yeah. comes off silver to my eyes, which just shows that it's wrong. It's not the right color. Right, a Reaper label will take care of that, but it shouldn't have to because they should just make Autobot symbols correctly. But this figure is all about things that shouldn't happen. <laughs> yeah, I guess I guess we'll get to that. Yeah, I mean, you guys review the good things about the robot mode while I transform it. I mean, the well, deco he's, looks nice. The deco is good. He is accurate to what Jackpot looks like. I like, yeah, again, like the paint apps, you know, the the orange paint apps on the on the feet look good. And the knees, and again, the headlights. Um, and then he's got a little bit of red, like, on his chest. Um I mean, I think from that standpoint, it looks cool. I like the accessories. Like, the blue is a nice contrast. I don't know. The original Jackpot figure, did he come with any type of, like, like a blue gun and whatnot as well? Or I think he had sights, at least. This is sights. Yeah, so and this is blue. Normally, he makes an axe, but you can make a pretty good gun out of him, like I yeah. have done here. So that's a reasonable firearm. In Transformers world, at least, yeah, whatever. It's if you don't like that, he's got yeah. this one. Yeah, he does Remember, have a little Anna, gun. Does he have a, a gun other than sights? Probably, I believe right? the answer is yes. I'd have to look because I don't have his accessories. I just have the figure ah. right now. Oh, sights is cool. He's also a, I guess he's not a bird anymore. He's more like a pterodactyl, but. He is a thing. I, I like this player. mold though. I think it looks good in blue. It's one of the better battle oh, masters. Here he is. Phil says his original gun was blue. Thank you, Phil. Thanks, we Phil. We can look it up, but that's what we rely on the chat for that those types of things. That's right. That's what the chat's for to to correct us. <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah. Sides is fine. He's tiny pterodactyl. He's blue and black. Again, yeah, I really like this mold of sides. The axe bird mold is probably the funnest of these guys. So I don't mind the fact it's been used, what, four or five times now? Three. Four. Three. Because the original... Three? Four. 
It's at least four. I think it's four. What color was the original? Green. And then there was another green one, right? So there's green and purple, and then there was gold, and there's this one. Okay. Or clear yellow, not gold. But... We got that. Organized by colors, not by names, because Battle Masters matter so much. Uh, okay, fine. Uh, ter- Teraxodon, Terror Daxtal, Inner Axe, and Sights. There you go. I've done them all. There you go. Oof. But I think my favorite cool. part about this mold is the head sculpt. Like I, like, yeah. how amazing! Boom. How amazing does this look? Like it just yours looks, is actually quite a bit better than mine. This is what I was trying to tell you. Is it yours? Is a little better. Like you might back up a little bit. Yours is kind of blurry there, or like try to focus. But yeah. Um. The yeah, hands and I, the head don't line up. As I you would imagine, okay. as you would guess, and as you would expect, mine is the worst of all three of ours. I can easily tell by looking at the two of yours. See, this is the thing that I was mentioning in the chat, because, like, Christian, you were, you know, whenever it first came out, and I was like, I feel like that your enjoyment of this figure is totally dependent on the copy that you get. That if you get, um, like, I feel like mine, I mean, obviously you can tell that there's two pieces to it, but like, I feel like it's pretty much lined up and it's a good enough for me because I don't really have like a, a strong, you know, like pull to this character or whatever. Like, I don't have nostalgia for it. So, and out of all three of us, you would probably be the most lenient on the head anyway. Yeah. Because I'm the harshest on head sculpts out of the three of us, for sure. Right. Christian's in the middle. And then you're the least harsh. And and my copy, I think, probably is the best one. So. so Yes. It's a little backwards. That's the way things didn't turn out. (laughs) Yeah. I attempted to take this apart and fix it when I first had it. And I could not get the pieces to come apart i don't know if it's glue too much glue or the pegs are just the right kind of wrong to make me not be able to separate it but i i I couldn't do it if you got any tips in the chat uh, let me know because i would like to try and fix it i've heard that it's a molding mistake more than an alignment mistake like something about the new head pieces is molded incorrectly so they don't go together well not that they just didn't put them together well I can see that. As opposed to the new Starstream that I got, which is like one of the first times I'm like complaining about a figure because the paint is, is messed up. And I, uh, I purchased two different Starscreams and both of them have paint issues. So this is bad. Yeah, it's really bad. Like, it's just, it is so split. And I know my camera doesn't really pick up heads very well these days. But you can even tell from my blur Mm -hmm. that his head's, like, tilted. It just comes off real bad. So the picture I shared in our ad for tonight, I literally have him posed to the side. So it's not as bad. But you can even see it from profile. Because the side that I had facing is the smaller side. So you can see the little chunk. I really think this is bad enough that Hasbro should be offering a fixed part for this. But they won't, probably. No, they won't. I mean, I I feel like it's going to be one of those things where somebody offers like an upgrade head or something, you know. Yeah, I I agree with Christian that, and this is something I was talking about with one or another person the other day is if this was one of the smaller companies, if this was a third-party company, a smaller toy designer, a startup, anything else other than the toy empire themselves, they would fix it. But since this is Hasbro and, you know, they're a giant company and makes a bazillion toys a year, they don't have to bother. And that's a well, bummer. Well, the other thing is, is that this is a, what, um, I think it was $30, is that right, with the Action Masters? 
it was 20 like, same price whatever it was it 20 or 20 yeah, 22 it, it was normal, normal retail it, it, it's a 20 dollar <laughs> figure too like that's the other thing is is that like if you're talking if you bought something for a hundred dollars and the head's messed up or whatever that's one thing they might send you a replacement part for a 20 dollar toy you know they're just not gonna do it if i took any of your other 20 dollar toys and mingle the head it would instantly become a zero dollar toy. Right. I'm just, I'm just saying though, that like that part of the reason is that, you know, they can offer after sales. Uh, service I don't know if they'd fix it. I don't know if they'd fix it. Even if it was a higher dollar item, item, I'm not sure. No, they wouldn't. Cause Maybe I mean, it was Takara, an MP figure, but T- yeah, it doesn't fix MP figures either. They yeah. Leave it to the re- retailer. Like you're essentially stuck. Like, the retailer's stuck if uh, their mold is messed up. So, yeah, yeah, we've seen that with the uh, the last round of cone heads. Oh, Phil says that uh, Hasbro did offer a replacement head for a Power Rangers lightning toy, but that was only oh, a okay. paint issue. So, I don't know. I mean, I think it's a little bit easier on some of the Marvel Legends and Power Rangers and whatnot because. It's easier to pop up the head on and off uh, than Transformers. So now that is one thing I can say is that his head comes off very easy. So if you figure out a head replacement that you like, if you find a head that you think would you know replace his and it's the same size peg and it'll fit in his robot mode, he is definitely a candidate for a head swap. Absolutely a good candidate for that. And I think I have to do it. Like, I think in order to display him in robot mode, I have to do something about the head. It's too much for me. Yeah, it's it's really just... Your copy is especially bad. Mine is kind of in the middle. I, I got to figure out a way to try and fix it. I knew I would get one of the worst copies. It's just like... Because it, it looks like an deserved. okay head if it were correct. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Like, they... They re-envisioned his kind of weird proboscis face to definitely have definition to be a mouth on the top. So yeah. you no longer have to wonder whether that's his nose or his mouth or whatever. And it works. Like, the head sculpt that I think I'm supposed to be seeing, the one that I visualized by completing one or the other half, actually looks fine. It actually looks kind of good. For me and Jackpot's head, it's just good grief. This just looks bad like it is. And otherwise, the set is good. Like, especially since, like, Christian and Lucas mentioned, it actually ends up being, you know, the price of a current deluxe, but you also get a little friend. Right. And it's an action master that comes with their accessory buddy, which is really cool to me since we got so many target masters before our fire. We had so many target masters that didn't come with their little buddies in the U.S., so it's nice to see, like, the first time we get an Action Master, he actually comes. I Yes, I know it's not exactly what Sites was in G1, but, you know, Jackpot also didn't have a car mode. So I love the set. I love the concept. I love the fact we got Jackpot because I really loved Jackpot as a kid. No attachment to, like, a cartoon or anything, of course, since that didn't exist. Just I got the toy and I liked it. It was pretty and it reminded me of Jazz, who I never got to have as a kid. Because his car mode, I mean, he looks like Jazz, so... Looks like Jazz. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is worth a pickup if you can get over the head issue or you can fix the head issue or you get a copy that isn't so bad like Lucas's. So, I, I mean, it's a tentative recommend. I just, it shouldn't have been this way. Yeah. There's no yeah. reason for this kind of error to make it all the way through, you know, molding and QC. And then they're like, okay, just ship it. And then they, I mean, this should have been just, fixed in the molding thing. When they test shotted this head, they should have been like, hey, this doesn't work. Let's make sure it's molded correctly. I feel like it's frustrating because Hasbro has done some of these really cool, like, relatively deep cuts. Um, you know, that I wouldn't have expected that we would get a jackpot at all, you know, like, and so that's, from that standpoint, it's nice, but then it just sucks, like, when it's, you know, when we have issues like this. 
Can't imagine we're not going to get like... another jackpot. Like, like it's one thing if you got a star scream that's messed up, right? You're like, oh, we'll just wait a year for the next star scream, you know. But jackpot, it's like, well, it might be another thirty years. Can you imagine, given the passion that we've seen from the design team in all of these, you know, Transformers Tuesdays and live letters, whatever they're called, the things where they talk to us, all of those little things when they show us the designers and they seem so passionate and happy and excited about their designs. Can you imagine the poor sap who designed that head who has to deal with the fact that every damn copy of the toy has their head they made destroyed? What a bummer that would be as an artist, right? Well, that's what I'm thinking. Like, if, if they're so passionate, they would have been like, hey, this is clearly wrong. We need to make this right. But they probably just don't have that much power. Right. Probably not. Like, they're probably just the designer. They're not the decision maker who gets to say, hey, oh, my God, this is horrible. My art's been destroyed. They just I, have guarantee to be like, oh, dear. I guarantee you over the years that there's plenty of, of times where oh, I'm someone, someone submits a design of something, then it doesn't turn out like how they submitted. And then, you know. So. Having to deal with the fact that you worked on MAGA Jazz. For instance. Oh god. <laughs> at least we got a much better uh, jazz. Like at least this new better one is like not, you know, messed up with that stuff. Yeah, there's no problems. Well, Ooh. not as many problems with new jazz. Catherine has a good idea. Maybe we should have some media with him getting his head bashed <laughs> to make it legit. If they wanna throw that out as an idea for the comics, that that'd be great. That was a that was a joke I made the other day was that if he was actually literally damaged in the face, like if it was battle damage or an injury, I wouldn't care. But it's not an injury, it's an oops. Right. It's such a bummer. Because I, I really wanted this figure. I really like this figure. I'm excited to have Jackpot. I'm excited to have him with a friend. It's all so exciting, but and it's just not something I'm incredibly proud to display. And, you know, I had him displayed in car mode for the last week or so because I just, it made me less sad to look over and see him in car mode. It still makes me sad because I know what's inside. <laughs> I know what's hidden. I'll make another effort to fix it and I'll let you know how that goes. Yeah, definitely. And I need to look through, because I have a bunch of junkers that maybe I could find a head that I would could paint black and put on them and like okay for now until I get a proper jackpot head for him because yeah. anything is better than this this is just yeah it's not great it looks so silly it looks so silly it looks yeah, like I, I... I don't know how this made it through yeah yeah because this isn't like I like by comparison of how good the head's supposed to look, this head would look a lot better than Cup, for instance, who has a very bad head with bad paint. But it ends up way worse than Cup because at least Cup looks like he's supposed to. This one does not look as intended. No. And I think there was that little bit of denial when this was getting shipped out. I was like, mine will be right. It once has been right. I mean, I really like fine. I, I honestly don't think it's that bad for mine. I still wouldn't want yours. Like, I would still... I wouldn't, like, say as mean things about it if I had yours, but I would still want a replacement. I would still want to change the head. Like, I wouldn't want to display it like that. I don't know. I mean, I just don't really see where it's, like, my copy is that, like... I mean, it's the chin. You, you, you don't need to flex it so much. Uh, it's all in the chin. We get it. You have the good copy, the one good copy. Well, no, but I mean, that's the thing is, is there's a there's a split down the middle of it. So like, no matter what, like, like mine is lined up there, like, but it's just the way the head works is, is there's it's split yeah. down the middle. So no, yours is about as close as it could be. Right. Right. With what they have, like. The top looks a lot better. The chin is just as bad as the rest of all our chins. So, but yeah, I mean, I think that's just the design of it. So, but you know, 
again, like I'm fine with it, but I don't have any attachment to ja- or to jackpot, so. Hopefully the next few repaints of this mold will be better because we still need yeah. Ricochet and I wouldn't say no to like a kickoff from this. Right, but I mean, Fine. you don't necessarily have to use this head, so. They won't. Probably not. They might use it for kickoff, but yeah, probably not. This head is very unique. There's someone else I wanted from this too. The Flash. It's a hurricane. I'm just trying to get Turbo Masters in somewhere. There you go. He seems kind of strange holding an axe. Oh, um, axe friend didn't come with the blast effect, right? I don't think so. I don't remember I don't opening remember. a blast effect. Not that I it's know been it. a while since I opened it, but I don't think it came with the blastifies, which is interesting because they used to always come with them. I'm glad it didn't. <laughs> I was gonna say I I honestly like take every blast effect that I get and toss it like somewhere, so I couldn't even tell you what has blast effects and what doesn't anymore. Yeah, mine all go in a bag where I don't have to look at them anymore. I would use every single one of my blast effects if I didn't know that they damaged the plastic. Randall says he thinks that they did, so okay. I, I honestly don't. Oh, it came with a blue blast effect. Oh, the blue one? Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. I have an orange one on my desk. I thought maybe that was it, but... Yeah. I just chuck them all in a bag and say, I hope I never have to deal with you. Yep, yep. So... I hate them so much, guys. <laughs> we know you yeah, do. I don't really care. Been screaming um, about it for three years. <laughs> oh, the wiki says it did. So there we go. We we confirmed. I I apologize that we did not uh, did not know that because honestly, I kind of forgot since it's didn't been care that much. I gave him an orange one because I had an orange one on my desk. There you go. That's nice. So. Definitely taking that off as soon as it ends the show. Um, I don't know. Anything else to cover? Or... Nope. That's it. If I don't recommend for find... all three of us, right? No. Tended to recommend. If I find a way to disassemble it and, and make it correct, I'll be sure to post some instructions yeah. in the Facebook group. Probably that's where I have access. Um, I'll let you know. I'll check. I'll give. give I'll give it a shot. I would say yeah. it's a don't recommend for me because it's just a frustrating toy to own. I think uh, Christian kind of hit the nail on the head uh, with his recommendation that if you don't care about the head sculpt, if you're okay with it, then otherwise it's good. So, <laughs> Right. But. All right. Well, um, thanks guys for joining me tonight. Thanks to everyone in the chat. Uh, thanks to Randall and Catherine and to Phil. Um, I think, uh, Let yeah. us know what do you, what is it you want us to review next week because we, we are taking suggestions. Yeah, I think yeah, we're, definitely we're, taking we're suggestions out of, uh, stuff. So I know we were talking too that uh, we we may potential potentially change up the format uh a little bit just because uh some you know some of our collecting is, is slowed down and whatnot but um i don't know maybe jurassic park next week i know i haven't opened that yet i could finally open mine and yeah, the same mine would be the same boat i get her sister soon i could always oh, talk about her since i was never allowed to talk about the original so the orange tigatron um I ordered mine through Pulse for some reason. I, like Amazon may be mad about something, uh, how they ship something. So I just decided to order everything through Pulse. And then the problem with that is, is I may never get it. You'll get oh, it. Yeah. You'll get it. Moon, moon train. Oh, I forgot about moon trains. We actually were saying that we need to talk to Rob um, and Peter and see if they get their moon trains in. We should do the moon trains, definitely. I have not opened Get Sweet yet, but I did open Yukikaze. So. Even one is one is plenty for one show, considering 
We don't usually review figures that complicated. No. All right. Well, cool. Um, yeah. So yeah, hopefully like that idea. Trains, it, if, uh, if Rob and Peter's uh, moon trains cleared customs, then we'll do that and, and have them on. Cause I know we were talking to them about doing that on the show a couple weeks ago, but they were still waiting for their figures. So, all right. Well, uh, thanks guys. And we will see you next week. See you next week. Bye.